actually going on social media and it's a video going on tiktok and on instagram on youtube by amharic so i want to this video to go to world human history guys and you never seen it or you never heard it in your life this is so hard even though i couldn't even sleep after i see that video and if you guys have a daughter if you guys have little sister and you know how you feel how you feel if if this happened to your daughter or if this happened to your little sister i'm trying to control myself when i speak here you guys hear it in amharic i swear that's hard this video should go to the human right and human right world human right uh, <laughs> Her mom right now she cannot even go to work because they keep follow her, following her. Hey guys, uh, today topic will be different from other day, guys. And you know, I wanna speak to you about one thing, guys. It's uh, actually going on social media, in it, especially in Ethiopia. If you guys are from Ethiopia, you already know about it. I wanna talk about heaven, guys. And heaven is only seven years old. And if you guys are from uh, uh, other country, of course, you may not understand because the video going on TikTok and on Instagram, on YouTube by Amharic. So I want this video to go to world human rights, guys, because we need uh, we need justice for heaven. And, you know, I will be a little bit emotional when I talk about things because I try like 10 times to speak about her. But that was so hard for me guys and video was in three parts it was one part one part two part three and i finished that video within three days because i couldn't finish uh, hearing it because her mom was telling the story and that was really hard to hear and to sit and hear uh, about it because you know i'm women guys and especially okay i don't have any daughter but i have little sister and i also have my, my sister and brother they have a daughter and it's really hard to hear this kind of things this is really hard guys Oof. guys i swear even when i watch that video and when i think about that little girl and i have a big headache I don't want to even think about it because you know this is really hard but this little beautiful girl must get justice guys so that's why i really go out and want to talk about it i don't would like to talk this about this topic like for one week or for two weeks and gone no this girl must get justice guys and let me tell you the story guys as you guys know i don't speak perfect english or my english is not that good but i really want more people to know about this and the little girl must get just it guys and <sighs> sorry for being emotional and heaven is only seven years old she born in <laughs> Bahardar, she used to live in Bahardar in ethiopia and what happened to uh, heaven name was heaven I was only seven years old when my life was taken from me. I was innocent and I deserved to be safe. All girls and women do. No one should suffer in silence and no one should ever be hurt like I was. Stand with us, protect us, speak for us when we can't. Justice must be served for me and for every girl who can't speak anymore. Her mom, she worked she work in the hospital and have a mom work uh, at night shift in the hospital most of the time. And then on that time, she was in the hospital too. That was daytime, by the way. When these things happened, that was daytime. And then this history, guys, and you never seen it or you never heard it in your life. This is so hard. I'm like emotional, guys. Okay, so on that day, uh, her mom was uh, in the hospital and this one, this guy right here, he's murdered, guys, and he murdered seven years girl, guys. <laughs> he didn't even just murder her. He raped her and he murdered her. And um, the mom was explaining about how he did. He put sand on her mouth. Uh, he used like a lot of force for little girl, like he rape her from in front and at the back side and 
I swear it's really hard to talk about it. I'm a little bit emotional again because uh, I never heard this kind of history and even on movie guys, even on movie to see this kind of things on movie, this is really hard and you know I couldn't even sleep after I see that video and you know I couldn't finish the video within one day like I was scared and I have headache and I was like oh my god is this human like doing this like for seven years or little girl and you know she don't even know anything like he rape her and murder her I'm sorry guys and what makes me absent guys and the judgment was not right guys so he was only sentenced 25 years old after <laughs> after he did that and then guys his family tried to take him out from uh, jail because they think 25 is too much 25 years is not too much for rape and uh, murder a little a little girl guys a seven years old girl so do you think guys 25 years is enough do you think that's right guys if you guys have a daughter if you guys have little sister and you know how you feel how you feel if if this happened to your daughter or if this happened to your little sister guys how you feel about it and do you think 25 years is enough for him it's not right it's not enough but his family right now they try to take him out from the jail and these things happened before one years ago but nobody know about it because only a few people in Bahar that they know about it but this thing was not on social media and the mom uh, you know the mom uh, she tried to work her job in a nurse because she used to be nurse and they couldn't let her his family uh, keep following her and scare her you know they she was so scared like they keep following her try to beat her they did a lot, a lot of stuff for uh, heaven mom so she's scared and she stopped the job and she she tried to go she tried to get another job and they keep following her and they they keep scare her and they even go to her job place it's the one who supposed to uh, do these things but they kill her uh, seven years old but they still following her guys so that's a, that's so stupid guys <laughs> i swear i'm emotional a little bit i'm trying to like i'm trying to control myself when i speak here Yeah, I'm trying to control myself, guys. I'm sorry for that. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit emotional about that because even when I think about heaven, I have big headache. Guys, The <laughs> she didn't get justice, guys. So the judgment was not right. Like 25 years is not right. So after one year, the fever mom come to Yoha Media, that's Ethiopian uh, media, uh, media, and she was telling the story that the, the, his family following her and she couldn't leave uh, her country, like her city, she couldn't leave. That's why she come to Addis Ababa and go to Yoha Media and she explained everything. And the video, guys, the video, if you guys hear it in Amharic, I swear that's hard. It's really hard like when she explained about how her her girl die it's really hard guys even to hear it like she's a mom and you know what happened to her girl so hard even to <sighs> she didn't even get the the right justice and they still following her and they couldn't leave her to live her life and now after we heard that a lot of people going out talking about it and justice must be for heaven guys let me know what do you think about these things like someone who raped your uh, seven years old girl and murder and then also after he uh, raped her and murdered her he tried to hide he tried to hide that he's not doing anything and he was he was in her leg and tried to pretend uh, she uh, she died because she fell down he was he was trying to pretend but you know they tried to find out he's the one who did that and 
And for this one, I would say like the Ethiopian uh, president, you should sign to kill these super guy guys. So I'm sorry for being emotional because she's only seven years old and she don't deserve this and she must get justice. And this, this is about human, human rights, guys. So if you are even from other country, please be a voice to the heaven because it should, the, this video should go to the human rights and human rights, world human rights uh, must know about these things because we didn't get justice for her. Guys, it's really hard. It's really hard. Like, you know, she is human being. She is a girl and she is a kid. So she didn't do anything. She don't deserve like she don't she don't deserve these guys and she didn't even get justice so even this this guy right here he he's from ethiopia and he live in texas and he was he was saying that the murderous hero he was saying because he raped rape her and kill her <laughs> Gayu agame komatan biar ishalinya lagi kita anak fendi dah isat tech warad damara le suahun riyalan bas cekway kafal ke hospital udah makalin betul awur entai kalian faham abarat that's his hero he was saying that guy so this guy also if you guys from US this guy you should take him to you know to the court because he was saying he's hero because he raped her you you know the reason he was saying that because the girl is uh, the girl is and the girl mom is uh, the girl mom is uh, Amara. I, I know you guys, you guys don't understand these things and I don't really want to talk about these things because I hate like to talk about any politics and religion and ethic. But this guy was saying, even if she's from Amara, her uh, her father is the little <laughs> the little girl father is from Tigray. So the ra raper, like the murder, the, the raper, he did the good job. He was saying that. So he was saying because she's uh, because her father is from Tigray, he was saying she deserved this house to put this guy. So this guy, if you guys live in US, please do something for this guy because and this guy and this guy is for me like the same. Like this one is the seven years girl and he killed her and this one he was saying this guy's hero because he did for Tigray girl. So if you guys are from uh, if you guys living in US you know what to do guys. So this guy is so stupid. So they are like both of them like the same for me guys. This and this guy are the same for me. So maybe maybe guys when he's Ethiopia he did the same things. Maybe in US, who know, he did the same things. He raped the kids, maybe. That's why he was saying he's zero, guys. So as a woman, guys, I feel so bad. And I feel so bad to hear this. And I swear, like, I'll try to be calm down. Because right now, I am really controlling myself. Not to, you know, not to be emotional. But these things, really hard. This really hard, guys. So... You guys should be a voice for um, her mom and voice to be for heaven, for beautiful girl. And all I can say is rest in peace, uh, heaven. And and her mom right now, she cannot even go to work because they keep follow her, following her and they keep scaring her. But right now, she's, she, she's in a disabeba. So if you guys want to help uh, the mom, the heaven mom, I'll put her uh, account right here or I'll put on the, the description so you guys can help her 
Okay, uh, guys, I hope you guys understand a little bit because my English is not really perfect, but I'm trying to explain what's going on in Ethiopia right now. And I hope you guys learn something. Thank you guys for uh, watching. Thank you guys for watching and just must serve for heaven, guys.